BMW X3 G01 with B46 engine. On this engine, on this car, I replace the heat management module. This module is in charge of regulating the engine temperature, have some actuators, flaps inside that will move coolant to different hoses for the optimum engine temperature. To replace that module, you need to remove the intake manifold and as per instructions, also you need to remove the oil filter housing. So, as every single job, especially when you work on the engine, first thing is to disconnect the battery and if I'm working on the coolant system, I will need to evacuate the coolant to suck all the coolant from the engine. With the battery disconnected, next step is to extract the coolant. The coolant will need to be removed from the high temperature pressure system and from the low temperature pressure circuit because the low temperature pressure circuit is on the intake manifold and we need to remove the intake manifold. So for that I need to connect my equipment, tank one, vacuum, open. And the coolant will be evacuated. After successfully removing almost two and a half gallons of coolant, now I can start dismantling the engine. I have removed the reinforcement bar, that one, it's down here, fuel tank vent valve with its line, the back heat shield, disconnect the DME, disconnect this hose, unplug the harness, move the harness to a side, I still need to remove this screw, the intake screws, there is another screw there that is keeping the intake in place, that one. After undoing all the screws for the intake manifold and removing this hose from under the intake, next step is to make sure that there is no debris here in this valley between the intake and the engine, because when I remove the intake, all that debris can fall down inside the engine. With that out of the way, now I can try and take the intake out. Now with the intake out, we can check the inlet ports to make sure that everything it's okay. And we have found a coolant leak. You see this stuff from here? This is dried coolant. And down here, it's from this line. Oops, my light. It's from that line. Is the return line from the expansion tank. This one from here. After disconnecting all the hoses, and pull them aside. Also disconnected the wiring harness. Now I will start to unscrew the screws, two on the bottom, three on the base, and I will try to pull out the module without removing the oil filter housing. And after a little bit of work, the module is out. Next step, clean everything there on the new one everything is cleaned prepared new surfaced grease new o-ring and everything now i will start to mount back the intake side of the head is cleaned prepared everything is put back all the hoses connected new gaskets on the intake manifold and now everything can go back together.
two plus gallons out of old coolant, two plus gallons in of new coolant. You can see here, new coolant, it's green, nice. I need to pull a little bit out from here and from here, but I think it's perfect. Now, reconnect back the battery, clear the error. I need to do a test plan for that and drive test this vehicle. Awesome, the heat management module is okay. So, heat management module replaced, new coolant, new gaskets, tested, everything working. I will do a final visual inspection, I will mount back the covers, I will clean the dust. And it is, this job It's done, everything is perfect. I still need to do the drive test and rescan the car to make sure that everything is perfect. I will do another visual inspection after that to make sure that nothing is leaking and everything is tight. With this I hope you learned something new in this video and if you find it interesting please show me by hitting the like button. Thank you for watching these videos and until next time no drill, stay awesome, bye now!